Hi, and welcome to Sparkle Tart. Today I'm going to be creating a really cute black and white layout and looking at three great ways to make your photo stand out on a busy background. So today I'm starting with a black piece of cardboard and I'm going to use Lindy's uh, Flat Fabios and Starbursts to add some colour. So I've got Sidewalk Chalk and Bombshell Black. Now Sidewalk Chalk is just a flat white. Bombshell Black is a beautiful black colour with a little hint of silver. Now because I'm working on black cardstock, the first thing I'm going to do is add the white. And basically I'd want to, um, I'd like to add a sort of a puddle. So I've got a few splatters here and then I'm just depressing the um, sprayer really slowly. So instead of getting a nice even spray, I get these sort of big splats and puddles. And I'm then going to take the little tip off and make a wider puddle. Now I could use a paintbrush to do this. And again, I'm not depressing the sprayer properly. I'm kind of trying to get it to drip out of the end here. Alright, so I've got those beautiful white splashes. Now what I'm also going to do is add a little bit of black. Now I'm not going to spray this. I'm just going to flick it on. Now I want to flick this in places where there's no white to add a little bit of texture. And I also want to flick it in the white so I get this sort of mottly grey look. So that that white chalky spray really stands out from the background, I'm adding more than one layer and some really intense spots. So that's really gorgeous, but it's not quite enough for me. I'd like a little bit of gold in the mix. So I'm going to add some grab a guy gold. Now on the black, you're almost only going to see the shimmer here, not a lot of the actual colour of the product, but that's fine with me. Okay, now I'm just going to check for size here because this is the image I'd like to use. I think that's going to be a perfect size here. Enough background around it to really give it some interest um, without losing it. Cool. Okay, that's great. And what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of white ink. So I've got a very cool abstract star stamp. So I get a little bit of something peeking through those tears. I'm really kind of liking that. Now, rather than just wipe that off my stamp, see if I can add it anywhere else, just to give a little bit of something. Now, I used the Delicata White Shimmer for this, and while it's not completely opaque, it's really pretty, so I'm rather liking it. Now, in keeping with my limited color palette, I'm going to emboss some embellishments using obviously black embossing powder, purely white embossing powder, and Caesar's Gold. And I'm just going to stick to these three colours and add them to a whole batch of different surfaces so I get a few different looks. Okay, so I've got some of my embellishments ready. I think I'm still going to need to colour this little word here. And it's time to add a little bit more texture to the background. So I've got some gauze and I'm going to colour this with the Lindy's Stamp Gang Spray. And then I have some glass beads art ingredients. And this colour is zinc and it's part of the Finnabar range. It's from Prima. And then I've just got a few uh, Simon Says um, sequins here that I'm going to add as well. I may or may not add some vintage glass glitter. I thought I had some black um, art ingredients, some sand. Can't find it now that I'm looking for it. So I'm, I may add some of this as well. At the moment, I think I'm going to add, just trim this a bit so I can have a play with a few different looks. And let me add the colour to this. Now, just to give it a little bit of gold shimmer, I'm just going to add some of the Starburst spray here. Okay, so I'm just going to roughly glue this here, just to give a little bit more sort of shape and structure to everything. 
Alright, so I've got uh, bubbles from the Tim Holtz collection here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of the Faber-Castell Asphalt. Um, and this is a paste. Now, my um, Asphalt Texture Paste has dried. And it's this wonderful black, grungy, sort of a matte finish here. And my little bit of cheesecloth has dried. So I'm ready for the next step which is adding some of my bits and pieces. Now I'm just going to add elements to my background, having a little bit of fun. Now, you would have noticed that beforehand I'd put my image down here and just sort of had a little play. This is basically continuing that. Now, while I add elements to the background, I'm also going to add a little tiny bit of that glitter glass, but just a very small amount because I know I'm going to use those beautiful shiny beads, so I only need the tiniest bit. From this point on, it's all about creating a frame for the photo, but it might not be what you're quite thinking of. So I've done a few things. I've mounted the photo onto a piece of black cardstock so it has the tiniest black border around the edge. This just helps separate it from the background. You can see I've mounted it on top of that little gold doily peeking out. Again, that shiny gold helps draw your eye, but it's still not enough. So I'm making a little bit of a wire frame. Now I'm using a piece of white wire that's coated in, uh, I think it's just some kind of a cotton to make it sort of look like fabric. But I've also trimmed a few tiny little pieces of that craft card that I've used as the backing card. And I'm winding those around within it, just so it's got all the same elements, both white and craft. I've tied a little knot and I'm going to hide that underneath the flower and the leaf and you can see almost immediately when I add that wire, your eye is drawn to that photo. That's because our eyes are naturally drawn to circles. I didn't know that. I um, thought that was quite interesting. So it's a really good way to help draw the eye is to create a circular shape. So between the circle and the gold peeking out from that doily and the fact that it's a simple colour palette with just black, white and gold and a hint of that craft colour, really helps draw the eye and that photo being so pale because it's a little surprising in colour just adds a bit of punch. Okay this is where I make a hideous mesh usually. So I've got some of the glass beads in the colour zinc and these go everywhere and every time I do it I think oh I should do this in a tray but I don't. Now the beads I'm adding also help draw your eye. Because they've got a bit of a shine or an iridescence, a bit of a almost an oil slick look to these, they naturally catch the eye. So what I'm doing is I've added glue in a few areas towards the outside of the decorations, but mostly leading in towards the photo and I'm going to add the heaviest concentration of beads in there towards the photo. And what this will do is again, between the shine and the little metallic elements and the beautiful circle of wire, this all works together to frame that photo and just draw your attention right to the photo. So the minimal color palette, the pale photo, because it's a bit different, and all of these little elements just to help trick us and draw the eye so the photo really stands out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab a large tray. Um, it can be sort of any, anything as long as it has a lip on each side. And I'm very carefully going to tip the excess beads back into the tray. Well, as you can imagine, that went well. <laughs> it ended up with me chasing beads all over the floor and I'm pretty much covered in glitter, but you know, that's okay. Now, my final touch is just going to be a few uh, little sequins just to lighten it up slightly. Not a whole lot, just a couple. I'm going to do my usual trick. I'm just going to put some glossy accents on a piece of scrap paper. Dip the sequins into it. As a final touch, I've decided to spray my chipboard word with a little of the Lindy's Flat Fabio in sidewalk chalk, just to finish it off. But you can see how beautifully these elements all go together. 
and the final page really does draw the eye to the photo. The gold elements covered in that Lindy Stamp Gang embossing powder look absolutely gorgeous. And when you combine that gorgeous shiny gold with the matte black, the matte white, and some of the beads and other elements, it really does help to sort of make all of those very busy ingredients into something that draws the eye. So an effective scrapbook page with a photo is the hero. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love you to give me a like. And if you'd like to see more from Sparkle Tart, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a product list below the video in the description, and you can connect with me via YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, or Google+. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.